Hi, I'm Amanda from the Fair Oaks Library Branch. Today we're going to do some embroidery while we learn about Shirley Chisholm. Grab your stuff and let's get going. You're going to want to grab an embroidery hoop, some scissors, some needles, and thread or floss as it's called, and a picture of what you want your design to look like. We'll start by cutting out our template so it fits nicely onto our hoop. And then we'll load the fabric into our hoop just by sandwiching it between and tightening the screw. We will then affix the template to the back of our hoop. You may need to trim down the sides a little bit and use tape to secure it. Then you'll grab a pencil or a fabric pencil. Uh, these are just special pens that uh, wash out a little bit easier. You will trace the image onto your fabric so that you can follow along with your embroidery thread. From there, you'll thread your needle, securing it with a knot at the end, and start making your stitches. This part does take a while, so while we are working on that, let's learn a little bit about Shirley Chisholm. Born the child of immigrants, Chisholm grew up in Brooklyn, New York. In 1968, Chisholm ran for Congress and won by a landslide making her the first African-American woman elected to Congress. With her motto, unbought and unbossed and fighting spirit, she was a fiery advocate for education and women's rights in particular. In 1972, Chisholm became the first African-American and first woman to run for the Democratic Party's presidential nomination. While her presidential bid was ultimately unsuccessful, she remained an activist, advocate, and role model for generations. Thank you for learning something new with us today. Don't forget to like and follow us for more content like this. 